This is an All Sports Station production. Coach, you're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. We are moments away from kickoff, and we've got a good one on tap between the Carolina Panthers and the Washington Redskins. With that, let's get on up to FedEx Field near Washington. Standing by for the call of this one, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thank you. We are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C. That's where the home of the Washington Redskins resides. FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Just as we were getting ready for air, both teams coming out of their locker rooms, out of the tunnel, and this crowd is pumped up as their Redskins get set to match up with the Carolina Panthers. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Dustin Hopkins has it on the tee, and here we go from our nation's capital. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here we go. Here we go. So here are the Panthers now go. for their opening drive. They'll be taken out by the product of the University of Louisville, the talented Teddy Bridgewater. His stature isn't huge. He's not one of the big, strong-arm guys that you see coming into the league, but his touch decision-making, ability to make plays. That's why Teddy Bridgewater has a chance to be a top quarterback in the league. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And, whoa, he's going to hope that that is not a sign of things to come. A rude welcoming to this ball game. He got in there quickly with very little resistance. I would have thought about checking out of that play because when you looked across the line of scrimmage, where were the gaps? That whole offensive line was just crowded by defensive players. I think what he was thinking, if he could just get a crease, there'd be a lot of room to run. That obviously was not the case. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Bridgewater to throw it. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. It's Ryan Kerrigan getting the sack. Two plays so far, run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. Third and long now after the sack, and we'll see if Bridgewater has a response. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. Complete to his tight end, set the valve. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A really nice gain of 25 yards. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And here now the offense for Carolina. And the play of this offensive line is going to be so important in this game because we saw the sack a minute or so ago. They've got to be able to give their guy time to throw. That means communication and being physical is vital. Otherwise, this could be a long game. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Here's Bridgewater. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. 
So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. Call it a loss of two on the play, and that'll make it second and 12. Well, that's one where he's probably looking at his offensive line and saying, fellas, at least give me a second to catch it and move somewhere. Yeah, sometimes you see guys get upset after those types of plays, but the best ones, they shrug off the mistakes of their offensive linemen and keep working with them. They want to see you have some toughness, take the hit, and come back stronger the next play. Second and 12, Bridgewater. Open man is Samuel, complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And here is the Redskin defense. Landon Collins is built like your typical tackle first safety, but he does have the ability to play the deep part of the field. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. From the gun, Bridgewater. He'll get that to devalve the tight end. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins 26. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now... Everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. The ball's out. McCaffrey lost it. And the Redskins scoop it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Haskins and the Redskins come up first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Following the turnover, it's Haskins. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. K-1 short with a sack. That's 315 pounds of man right there. Didn't have the greatest field position to start, did they? And now after this sack, it's way, way worse. And right off the bat, first play of the game. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. The throw taken in by Sims. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. That catch good for five. It's third down. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Don't get nervous. Third down. Here's Haskins. And Latimer's got it. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Give him 30 yards there. And that one hurts defensively. They force him into third and long, had the advantage, yet they give up the big play right there. Yeah, their offense was already warming up on the sideline, ready to come out. So much for that three and out. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Now we've got whistles here before the snap. Was this on the Redskins? I think so. So that'll back them up five. We 
A carry now for McKissick. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Second down, Haskins. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 41-yard line. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, stepping back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. A first carry now for Adrian Peterson. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. On second down, Peterson. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers, 32. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll run it. Here's Peterson. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. That's it, baby. So now on fourth down, the Redskins will hand things over to their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. Hopkins' kick is good. And it's 3-0 as the Redskins strike first. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And last time, the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? Second down, McCaffrey. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. And the Redskins have an extra man in the secondary here on third. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. Looking middle complete and he'll be stopped right at right. midfield it's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16 
Well, starting drive number two off on the right foot. Completion for the first down. Drive one is the that had to be pretty frustrating because they moved the football. They just didn't get any points out of it. But warm up QB two. Let's bring in the backup. <laughs> I mean, my goodness, you take them downfield and you don't score points. You know, I'm being totally facetious <laughs> here, right? I'm just kidding. Nice first drive. Rarely do teams score on every single drive in a game, but they like what they did there. They just hope they can pay it off this time with some points. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Second down and four. Bridgewater to the right side, and he's got more complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins' 32-yard line. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Second and 12, Bridgewater. Going right side here, and that's complete. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. <laughs> Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Well, if you're carrying the football, you're hoping to have a little bit more time and space than that. Don't you get the sense he's calculating how quickly he got there? That was Jet Propel, and that was a full-grown man that made the tackle as well. So on fourth down, Ron Rivera sends out the field goal unit. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. Field goals all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker try on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. That good for 22 and a first down. If you're an Adrian Peterson fan, that's the sign that you want to see right there on the other end. They got to learn to get him down, or this could be a long one. And it's also the sign that his team wanted to see him making that type of a run, having a force and an impact on the game that early. That really demoralizes the defense because they realize it could be a long game trying to get him on the ground. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. 
They run Peterson. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Second down, it's Peterson. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right Here at the line. The no gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. These two teams all tied after one. From midfield now, Haskins. Open man is Sims. He's got it. 17 yards that time at a Washington first. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll run with McKissick. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Second and nine, Haskins. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that's going to bring up a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. The Redskins on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and six. From the gun, Haskins on third down. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Brian Burns in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He was true on his first. This a tough one from 49 yards away. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals. It's 6-3. to three. So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We've got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And now trotting back out with the rest of his offensive mates, the big tight end. And some of his highlights here from this game, he's nearing 100 yards, partner. And defensive have worked so hard at how to try to slow down tight ends. It was a lot easier, partner, in the old days because when they just lined up on the line of scrimmage, either put a defensive end or a linebacker over them and tried to body them so they couldn't get off the line of scrimmage easy. And now? Now, when they split out, detach from the line of scrimmage, you put a linebacker out there, they're often too elusive for them, shake them again to the secondary too easily before someone else can try and pick them up. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Ready. 
So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. This is McCaffrey. So that one will get him halfway to the first down marker. Seven yards makes it third and seven now. The Panthers on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and seven. To throw, Bridgewater. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. This quarterback now 10 of 10 to start the game. How about that? As he comes up on a first and 10. On the ground, McCaffrey. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Throwing Bridgewater. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 yards and a Panther first down. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Bridgewater. Completes it to Davis. Call it a three-yard gain, and that'll bring up second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. The former Gamecock here, this is Mike Davis. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. The Panthers on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and six. Bridgewater. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. All right, need you to check my eyes here. This entire unit defensively, I think, has looked really strong in the first half, especially in the secondary. They've been cohesive, fast to the football, and we just saw another example arriving there to help knock that one away. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. And this one is right through. And that will tie things up at 6-6. Six, six. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. So back even at six apiece as the kick's away. 
This will be fielded at the eight. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. There are so many times during camp and practice that you get bored as a player doing regular drills. But how about that shed and skate drill right there by the linebacker? You do it each and every day, get the blocker away, and get into the backfield and make a big-time tackle. That's what we just saw. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Second down, Haskins. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A gain there of 21 yards. Haskins had the offense with a first and ten. And he's a perfect six for six here to start the ball game. Play action. Haskins. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time. He was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. Some extra space following the display of power down just inside the 45. The Redskins on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. Haskins will throw. And that is incomplete. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. They spot it on the midfield stripe. So it is a 60-yard attempt here. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice. An ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. It's not too often you see a holder putting that football down right on the midfield stripe. 60 yards, Charles, but a little bit too much to bite off there. Yeah, it's good to show confidence in your kicker. That might have been just a little bit too much. I'll guarantee you, as you just noted, putting it down on the midfield stripe, the holder's thinking to himself, that's a long way. <laughs> Probably not as confident as well. Well, they tried the field goal from just inside of 70 yards. It missed, and now this offense set up nicely at midfield. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. McCaffrey. Yeah, he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Here we go. 
So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Let's go. Play action now, Bridgewater. They'll roll him out right. He'll try and run it. And now Bridgewater is still down. Looks like he was shaken up there. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. receiver Anderson and they're going to have another first down here as the tackles made at the Redskins 27 yard line here we go here we go 60 or a play fake now Greer to throw and he's got the hook up to Moore. And down inside the 15 he goes. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. The first red zone opportunity for the Panthers thus far. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did. And remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. From 13 yards out, as his guys are able to regain the lead. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Now the extra point. And it's up and good to extend the lead to 13-6. So that drives seven plays in length. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This will be fielded at the eight. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26 yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe someday you have to press it a little bit. This might be the case. 
And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Richard Rodgers, that time. But it's going to be second down. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Now Peterson. One yard, the official pick up there, so it's going to set up third and nine. The Redskins on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and nine. Here's Haskins out of the gun. And that will be incomplete. So on fourth down, the Redskins will call on Tressway to punt it away. Back deep, the dangerous Farrow Cooper. And now a high kick here as he'll try to hang it up there. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. Yeah, they have had success on the ground, really as a team, doing well carrying the football. So maybe a little less pressure on his shoulders as the quarterback. Any pressure he's carrying right now, that's self-inflicted, right? He's taking it on. He doesn't need to. Continue to do what you just said. Let everyone else carry the football. That's been effective. Don't have to worry about him throwing the ball in all the situations now. That's got to be a good feeling if he just relaxes and lets it keep coming to him. Yeah, relax and enjoy the second quarter lead right now. On the ready. Hey, reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. The Redskins on third down, putting an extra man here in the secondary. Third and two, Greer. Got his target, Samuel. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Greer now. A perfect five of five since taking over. They haven't missed a beat. First and ten. First down, Greer. Open man is Samuel. Complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play, and that's going to make it second and 14. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Greer throwing again. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On third and long, here is Greer. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Fourth. 
So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. And this will be down by a member of the kicking team just outside on, of the 30-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around. And Sands lost it. He lost the football. And this one's going to go out of bounds, so no recovery, but on fourth down, a change of possession anyway. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Involved goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision, because they do have the final call now. This challenge was initiated by the guys in New York taking a look at the play. Less than two minutes to go. Yeah, I'm sure the coach wanted to challenge it, so he's probably going to send the New York office a holiday card. Looking to throw again on second down. Haskins. He gets it complete to Latimer. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. little surprise here on third and one. On third and one, it's Haskins. Haskins hit, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week. He's smiling. Point after here, coming up. And the lead is up to 14. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room.
After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Final play of the half, it's Haskins. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw nice off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. So let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in corner number three. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Here we go. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. He's playing pretty well. I don't think it's necessarily him changing up something he's doing, but that old line, they've got to protect him better. They do. They've got to make sure that they give him more than enough time in order to find targets downfield. And sometimes what happens when these things are going on is that the, the field general will step up and say, hey, that's on me, guys. I didn't get rid of it fast enough. Anything to try and relax them a little bit and take some pressure off because they do know that they are trying. Yeah, well, we've seen the four sacks so far in this contest. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. On play action, Haskins, he's going to let this one go for left. This is caught inside the 15. And down inside the 10 at the 9. A huge play there for Washington. 45 yards. They're still looking for their first touchdown of the game. And for a second, I thought they had it right there. Now looking on the sideline, it's finally good to see nods of approval. It's a welcome sign of life that this offense needed. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Here's McKissick. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. When you look at the geography, we're staring at this part of the field. Don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, we look at a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. Yeah, they went with the elusive, slippery guy. Couldn't get in there, though. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Now Haskins to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Was trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, but now it's third and goal. What a job by this defense all game long. They've come together and really said, no one's crossing our goal line, and they're definitely not going to start right now. You can just see the dejection. Feel like nothing is working offensively. They'll run for it with Peterson. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. And a loss of three to bring up fourth. 
This defense continues to be good on third down. I mean, they haven't allowed a touchdown offensively. Are you saying, let's go for this? Let's try to get it in the end zone. I don't know about that because of what you just described. They've been so good, and they don't give up the big play that you would expect in downs one through three. Why should fourth down be yeah, any different? True. You might want to go ahead and kick the field goal and see if you can figure out something else as this game moves on. And Hopkins' kick is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing, all right? They didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need them to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. The third quarter has not been kind to them after they built that lead at intermission. They've seen that lead shrink. And how much of that is simply execution? How much of that is maybe you lose your edge a little bit because you've got a lead? And you do have to credit the other team some because they've made some adjustments to start to slow them down. Can they find those counters now, those extra plays or plays they haven't run that'll be effective and get them back moving again? They'll be looking for something here, anything to seize that momentum back. Now that's how you start a drive. Not only do you pick up a first down, you do it on a chunk play. Big yardage, and now you put a little bit of a dent in the confidence of the defense. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. On first down, it's Greer. Taking a shot for Samuel. That's caught inside the 20. And he's a long ways into Washington territory before hitting the turf. A big play there for the Panthers. 47 yards. I guess that answers the question of whether or not they're going to try to play conservative and protect this lead in the third quarter. And I think this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL. Teams not playing to protect leads. Teams playing to extend them. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now a first down throw, Greer. He'll get that to devalve the tight end. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. Now a run with McCaffrey. He will push his way down to about the 14. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Throwing on third down, Greer. Open man is Anderson. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Try to run with McCaffrey, and he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. A loss of two there, second down. Ready? 
Ready, ready, Second ready. and goal from the six this time. Again, McCaffrey. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will get the lead up to 14. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick. Right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Redskins offense now, they get set to take over here. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Give them a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Second and eight, Haskins. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. Haskins now 11 of 16 through the air. It's first and 10. Now Haskins on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Again on second and ten, it's Haskins. And he finds the tight end, Rodgers. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. Haskins now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. On first down, it's Haskins, and that's complete. It sends. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. First down, here's a run with Peterson. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. 
Picked a good spot there to dial the blitz up the middle. Yeah, and it's hard to really figure out where guys are going to come from when you're facing a 3-4 because they can come from the left, the right, just as you noted, up the middle. When you've got those linebackers who are kind of hybrid guys that can rush the pass or all drop in coverage, hard for an offense to figure out where the pressure is going to come from. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a you nice little game. You got it. <laughs> you got it. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Haskins on third down. And that's knocked away and incomplete. And that incompletion was caused by the defense. I think they were trying to get one into the middle of the field, trying to find a receiver there. But they were in zone defense. And what are the advantages of being in zone? Eyes and reaction. Eyes meaning all eyes are on the quarterback and able to react when he throws the football and rally to that spot. And that's exactly what happened there. Able to get there and knock it away. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. Another three on the board. He's been the lone bright spot. That's now four field goals. If this offense had finished a few drives, we'd be looking at a different complexion to this ball game because right now, the trade is really wrong for them, isn't it? They're trading field goals while the other team's scoring touchdowns. That's not going to work. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. They've got to right the ship. They had a great first half, but the lead has really gone down. Now, you know, you always talk about the adjustment to the adjustment. They've got to adjust right here. And I think a lot of it is just mentally. Get back to doing what you were doing well in the beginning of the game, but a lot of that is playing with that emotion and that sense of pride and fire that sometimes goes away a little bit when you build up a lead. You think you've got it going, and you also think at any moment I can go ahead and go back to the way it was before. You and I both know it's not that easy. Once you get off the gas a little. Yeah, they don't want to see this lead diminish anymore. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Here's McCaffrey, and he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Well, when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. Here we go. 60 out, Yeah, let's get a lunch. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for Carolina. And now a high kick trying to pin him back. And this ball is going to be touched down just shy of midfield. The dive unsuccessful. The big fella can't pick it up. The Redskins offense now. They head back onto the field. They try to fire up the run game with Adrian Peterson. 
And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Get up. Get up. Check. Crunch. 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 They will run it. It's McKissick. And an alley to run. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Give the Redskins 13 there and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Haskins. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. And down inside the 15 he goes. 17 yards that time at a Washington first. on first down and this is Latimer complete and he couldn't quite get there tackled down at the one another nice gain that's now 30 yards between those last two plays first and goal and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game they'll run with Peterson and he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Looking to throw, Haskins. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Cody Latimer, the intended receiver. But now it's third and goal. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Redskins. Dwayne Haskins keeping it himself from a yard out as his guys are back within a single score. Now, they went draw play there on third down, down around the goal line, something you normally like to see, Charles. Oftentimes, people are prepared for a pass in this situation, so the draw is a, is a good call but it's better when you usually have a lead blocker. If you don't have a fullback, you can use your H-back to pull in front. Sometimes you pull a guard to get out in front. Maybe it's your tight end, but they find a way to create a little bit of extra space. A bit of a surprise down near the goal line, but it was effective in this situation. So the defense gets the stop. I know it's situation to situation, but who has more pressure there, offense or defense, when they go for two? I, st I truly believe it's the defense has more pressure because the offense has an entire playbook wide open from the two-yard line. You can run it. You can throw it. So defensively, I think most teams are going to be aggressive and force the issue and try and bring pressure. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 
Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent, just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader, making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you're judged, mm -hmm. how big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far. They'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? <laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Go, Respect. The first down run 70, got five. 80. Here's second and five. On second down, here's Greer. Gonna throw right side here, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Greer now. Six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. They'll run with McCaffrey. Sean Davis that time on the tackle. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier, probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Let's go now. Greer hey, now, 13 of 15 one, passing. One, That's good for 87%. It's first and 10. Yeah, go. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. time on the completion and it'll be third down pass complete but no game no yards yeah so you file that as unsuccessful yeah you do don't you except on the stats throwing Taylor. the ball get a completion you get a catch yeah cut, cut. but still no yeah. yardage okay and he'll dump this off to his running back McCaffrey and they're gonna get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. And his kick here is good. And that'll push the lead up to eight. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. 
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. So out now come the Redskins. Haskins and the Redskins come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. On first and 10, it's Haskins. Slings this deep from McLaurin. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. And from the 25, they worked this to the 29, a gain of four. The Redskins on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This will be third and six. Third down, here's Haskins. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact. Able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And now a high kick here as he'll try to cover this one. Now a fair catch called for and made right on the 45-yard line. Just 21 yards on the punt there. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. And the Panthers coming out now. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Here's Bridgewater. Quick slant caught by Moore. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Third down, Bridgewater. And he finds a man. It's McCaffrey. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. This quarterback now just one misfire so far after that last completion, 15 of 16. It's first down. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. Instead, it's incomplete. Boy, that really could have turned this one upside down. I know you're thinking it, but I'll just go ahead and say it. To give you an idea of how sharp he's been in this game, just his second incompletion, and we're in the fourth quarter. He has been... Locked in, laser focused all throughout this one, hasn't he? Certainly has, and he's got some help from his receivers as well. They also are locked in. Yeah, the drops have been at a bare, bare minimum. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. 
Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for. But now it'll be third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. To the air again with Bridgewater. Found his target. It's Anderson. And they're going to have another first down here as we the tackle's it. made at the Redskins' 18. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead first down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Redskins scoop it. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. He's at the 40, 20, 10. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. So they were down by a touchdown, probably just hoping the defense could hold them, maybe force the punt. Instead, they force the turnover and take it into the house. Well, the plan was perfect. That's exactly what they wanted. Instead, they got a lot more than that. Big time capitalization by taking the ball away and putting it in the end zone. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Following the turnover, it's Haskins toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And the failure to convert and tie the game, now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This one taken just inside the 10. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. They'll be looking to make amends for the events of a moment ago. A fumble return for six points. You absolutely have to protect the football. That's got to be priority number one because margin for error is starting to slip away. Now it's down to a one-score game. They begin with a run by Davis. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets them to second and four. From the 39, Bridgewater. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. This quarterback now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Now a give, right side McCaffrey. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Washington territory. It's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Watch, watch a slap, watch a slap. 
And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. Bridgewater now from the 50. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll take this forward for two, maybe three. But we do have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Had a chance to give themselves there some important wiggle room, but it went awry. Yeah, let's do the simple math here. And you know, for me, it has to be simple. Instead of this thing kind of giving them that wiggle room you talked about, now we're talking about possibly losing a ball game because they left the door open. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. Go, go, go. As they head to the field now, with a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Give the Redskins 13 there on a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing now, Haskins on first down. Got it complete to Rodgers. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10. On play action, Haskins looking for the end zone. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. From the 21, it's second and 10. Second and 10. Here's Haskins again. Rodgers brings it in. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes, and they were able to put the receiver on the ground. Possibly a turning point. Big play check, coming. Check, this is third and long. Watch, 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 watch. Check, oh. A carry now for McKissick. <laughs> And he's going to be taken down short of the first, right around the 15-yard line. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. Have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. Hopkins' kick is good. And with that, they have taken the lead by a point here in the fourth. So yet another field goal to end a drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often. But you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. Fairly short kick, taken at the 14 here. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past go. the here 30. We here we go. So now the Panthers 
down on the scoreboard. 2.23 to play. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and 10. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. I'm going back to you. To throw, Bridgewater. And he's got the hook up to Moore. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. This quarterback now a perfect 8 for 8 to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. Now a man open down the middle of the field and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. The Panthers got to go quickly. They're moving with a sense of urgency right now. Now Bridgewater. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. to the ground and fourth down now coming up didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out couldn't even find his outlet man because of the coverage it's way too tight unable to find anyone open and they'll try for it here on fourth Bridgewater and company stay out there Bridgewater to throw for it on fourth. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The DN Jonathan Allen making sure his presence is felt. Uh, the D brought the house, they called the blitz, and they get to the quarterback, overwhelming the O-line. And I would love to know, and we'll find out later on, was that called before the play, or did they audible into it? Because defenses change plays as well as offenses. Sometimes they get the set they want, they go right to the blitz, and in this case, they nailed it. Got right to the quarterback, no chance on that fourth down. Out comes a Redskin offense now as they get set to begin another possession. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. Another tote for the workhorse here this afternoon, Peterson. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Go, the Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Victory all but assured now as they take a knee here, and they're going to escape with a one-point victory. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here we go. 
Double tight, guys. Double tight. Even, even. Four down. Even, even. Oh! Victory all but assured now as they take a knee here, and they're going to escape with a one-point victory. Haskins down to a knee, and his guys about to come away victorious. And how about this finish? Able to take a knee, run out the clock, and close this game out by one point. You talk about <laughs> how, many, how many coaches we talked to. They all said to say, all I want to do is win by yep. one point. That got tested in this one. Yep, and that cliche rings true. A single penny separates this one. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. Down to the final play. That's where we win in this one, a dramatic finish. And I just, I know that the field goal was going to be pretty long, but to not kick the field goal, at least take the chance to win there with three, what did you think, partner? You know that in pregame, as he warms up, the kicker gets with the special teams coach, and they figure out a number in both directions, all right, you know, versus win, no win, if it's, a, if it's a possibility, whatever it is. And they give a number to the head coach. This is where I'm good from, between here and here. Maybe that wasn't the number he gave him today. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Redskins as we say so long from FedEx Field.